We've all heard this crap about the power of positive thinking, but is it really crap? Or can I just think my way to happiness? Hello everyone, I'm Trace. Thanks for popping by DNews today. My mom always used to say that we should think positively because with a happy attitude, you'll just get what you want. Think good thoughts and your ideal parking spot will appear. Imagining yourself well can cure your illness. Creating a world in your mind where you can understand complicated math will actually help you understand math and so on and so forth. You might be thinking this is all stupid and you'd be wrong. Kinda. So not everything I listed is real, but science has shown pretty conclusively that the mind controls the body. Many medications work because researchers rely on the placebo effect to make them work. Telling someone you're giving them a cure but actually you're prescribing a sugar pill does work after all. We have done videos about it, again the placebo effect, check it out if you haven't already. The Secret is a best-selling book that takes this idea to a ridiculous extreme. You cannot happy thought your way to understanding quantum mathematics without classes as suggested by the author, but within your body, things get a little weird. Scientific American recently published a piece that talks a lot about the power of the mind. Essentially, the secret of the secret is to trick yourself into a placebo effect. If you believe you are sick, then you will be, and vice versa. Scientists at the University of Essen in Germany were able to induce immunosuppression of allergies using behavioral conditioning without the patient's knowledge. They gave the patients a uniquely flavored drink, then an immunosuppression pill. Then some of the patients were given a flavored drink plus a placebo and those patients still got better because the mind convinced them that they should. A less clinical example occurred in hotel housekeepers. Researchers at Harvard University noted that in spite of their high levels of physical activity, many of them were overweight. So they split the housekeepers into two groups. Group A was informed that with their level of exercise, they actually should be getting thinner. They told group B nothing. They were a control group. When they returned to check up on them, group B was the same. But group A had lost weight, had lower blood pressures, and their BMI and waist to hip ratio had all improved. This was all because of the power of the perception of the mind and the suggestion of those researchers. On the flip side, there are things that we do every single day that we are convinced are helping us that might actually not be. Dr. Paul Offit, chief of infectious diseases at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, wrote a book debunking pretty much every kind of alternative medicine. Seriously, everything from acupuncture to vitamins fell apart under scrutiny. He is basically saying the reason we keep doing them is because we have convinced ourselves that all of these treatments work. Your mind makes them real, Neo. The placebo effect has been extensively researched, and science is still trying to figure it out. People can even induce it in themselves. Monks and yogis in Asia can lower their heart rates, they can increase their body temperatures, and even stop blood flow to certain parts of their body, all through meditation and controlling your mind. Is it so crazy to think that we can teach our brains to heal ourselves faster or to create antibodies? What do you think? Mind over matter or matter over mind? Give us an example in the comments and subscribe because, you know, we'd love to have you keep coming back to D News. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm Trace. Bye.